A family budget will help you keep track of your earnings and outgoing costs. Establish financial objectives and determine where your money is going. Our daily living costs are just a summation and subtraction process. That is to say, we earn money and spend it. Using Microsoft Excel to calculate our daily family budget is a no-brainer. Hi there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA-related problems. I am Ishrak Kader and in today's video, I'll be discussing two ways to make a family budget in Excel. So, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. When making a family budget plan, we need to classify the fixed cost and the variable cost. Consider Brian, who earns $20,000 every month and has to pay house rent, education expense, income tax, etc. Since these expenses do not usually change over time, so they can be classified as monthly fixed costs. In contrast, there are costs that depend on usage, like electricity bill, water bill, etc. They can be considered as variable cost. Let's go through the steps and the process will become more clear. Firstly, I'll go to the monthly worksheet, where you will find this table when you download the Excel file from the link given below. We'll begin by converting our monthly cost dataset into an Excel table. I'll select B6 to C13 range, then click on the Insert tab. In the Tables section, I'll choose Table. You can also use the Ctrl plus T shortcut keys. This brings up the Create Table dialog box. Make sure to check My Table has Headers option. Click on OK. We can see that the Table Design contextual tab has appeared in the ribbon. In the Table Styles section, click on this arrow. You can choose any table style according to your liking. In my case, I'll choose None. In a similar way, I'll select from D6 to E13 range, then click on the Insert tab. Choose Table, click on OK. Again, I'll click on Table Styles and choose None. Now our dataset has been converted into an Excel table. I'll then move to the E2 cell. Here I'll enter the date. In the formula bar, type date space, then a hyphen Jan space 01. For this example, I'll assume today is the 1st of January. Press Enter. Then in the B16 cell, I'll enter Brian's monthly income, which is 20,000 US dollars. You can see that I have entered the amount corresponding to each type of cost. Now I'll calculate the total fixed cost and the total variable cost. So I'll go to the C13 cell, press equal, Type the sum function. For the number 1 argument, I'll select from C7 to C12 range. Close the parenthesis and press Enter. And we get a total fixed cost of 3750 US dollars. Similarly, I'll go to the E13 cell, press equal, type the sum function. Select from E7 to E12 range. Close the parenthesis and press Enter we get a variable cost of 402 US dollars. Lastly, I'll calculate the present balance. Go to the C16 cell, press equal, select the B16 cell which contains the monthly income, minus the total fixed cost in the C13 cell, minus the total variable cost in the E13 cell. Press enter and we get a present balance of 15,848 US dollars. Once the monthly costs have been calculated, we'll move to the day one worksheet. The day one worksheet contains the daily budget. Here I have divided the daily budgets into casual and occasional costs. I'll begin by selecting from B6 to C13 range, then I'll click on the insert tab, 
In the Tables section, I'll click on Tables. You can also use the Ctrl plus T shortcut. In the Create Table dialog box, I'll click on OK. This inserts our table. In the Table Design tab, we can find the Table Styles section. Click on this arrow and choose No Style. Similarly, I'll select D6 to E13 range, press Ctrl T shortcut, click on OK. This makes our table. Again, I'll click on this arrow. You can choose any style according to your liking. However, I'll choose none. Now, I'll calculate the total casual and occasional costs. I'll go to the C13 cell, press equal, type the sum function, then I'll select from C7 to C12 range. Close the parentheses and press enter. Similarly, I'll go to the E13 cell, press equal, type the sum function, select from E7 to E12 range, close the parentheses, press enter. Following this, I'll calculate the previous balance. I'll go to the B16 cell, press equal, then I'll jump to the monthly worksheet. Here I'll choose the C16 cell which contains the present balance. Press enter. Lastly, I'll calculate the present balance. Go to the C16 cell, press equal, select the B16 cell which contains the previous balance minus the total casual cost in the C13 cell minus the total occasional cost in the E13 cell, press enter. And we get a present balance of 15,611 US dollars. Similarly, the present balance of today will be carried forward and becomes the previous balance of the next day, and so on. After the day one worksheet is ready, right click on the day one worksheet. Now choose move or copy option. This brings up the move or copy dialog box. Here, choose day one. Make sure to check Create a Copy option. Click on OK. And we can see that we have a copy of the Day 1 worksheet. Double click on it. Then rename it to Day 2. I'll left click on the Day 2 worksheet and drag it after Day 1 worksheet. In the Day 2 worksheet, I'll change the date to January 2. For the sake of this example, I'll change some of the cost amounts. I'll change the laundry to 0. For pets, I'll increase it to 20. For traveling, I'll enter 35. We can see that all our totals and present balances have been calculated. Again, I'll right click on the day 1 worksheet. Choose move or copy. Select day 1. Check the create a copy option. Click on OK. I'll double click and rename it to Day 3. Then I'll drag the worksheet after Day 2. Change the date in E2 cell to January 3. Again, I'll change some of the cost amounts. I'll increase the transport to $50. I'll increase the recreation to 25 And I'll change the gift to 0. We can see all our calculations have been updated automatically. Here I have just shown the calculation for 3 days, but you can make more copies of your daily budget if you want. Afterward, we can summarize the expenses by consolidating all these worksheets into a pivot table. To do this, click on the Data tab. At the top left corner, you will find Get and Transform Data section. Click on Get Data drop-down. From Other Sources, choose Blank Query option. This opens up the Power Query Editor. First, give your query a name. Instead of Query 1, I'll type Consolidated underscore Budget. In the formula bar, press Equal, type Excel, you can see that Power Query Editor is already suggesting the available methods. I'll select Excel.CurrentWorkbook, then open and close the parentheses, and press Enter. This returns all the tables from the workbook. 
Since we do not need the name column, so right click on it and select remove. This removes the column. Next click on the double headed arrow and uncheck the use original column name as prefix option. Click on OK. This will display all the budget data in the query. Lastly, click on close and load. Choose close and load to option. This brings up the import data wizard. Here I'll choose pivot table report and click on OK. This creates a new worksheet named Consolidated Budget where we have a pivot table. We can find the pivot table fields on the right hand side. Here I'll drag the cost type under the rows field and I'll drag the amount under the values field. Our pivot table is almost ready. I'll right click on any of the tabs in the ribbon. Then I'll choose Collapse the Ribbon option. And now we can see the entire pivot table in the window. That's it. All the budget costs are now merged in the consolidated budget worksheet. There are lots of free templates in the Microsoft Excel store. In this section, I'll show you how you can use them. First, click on the File tab at the top left corner. Then go to New. Here in the search bar, type Family Budget. Press Enter. You will get a list of the available templates. You can choose anyone according to your liking. I'll choose Family Budget. Click on Create. This downloads and opens up the template in a new workbook. Here you can enter the monthly income and your expenses and keep track of them in this worksheet. In this demonstration, I have shown you a step-by-step -step guide to making a family budget. In addition, I have also shown you how to get budget templates for free. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge to make your own budget or download a template according to your convenience. Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemi.com. Also, to see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye.